So these are the basic ones for um, using geometric series formula. Um, the first example I'm doing here is when you have to find the sum. You have A, R and N or you can get them really easily. And the question is, find the sum to 12 terms for the series, blah, blah, blah. Um, and obviously you can get all of these things. Okay, the sum to 12 terms. So I'm going to write this down like it's a finance question. and I'm going to put everything down that I could have and then everything down that I do have. Okay, so it's going to be writing the formula. So Sn is going to be A, 1 minus R to the N over 1 minus R. So let's just address what I've got there. I've got Sn equals, find S12 for the, okay, so I don't have the Sn, that's my question mark. A do I have? Yep, it's 2 thirds. Um, R. Okay, so this is a geometric question. Um, I should have written that down there, but um, you would test it anyway. So um, I'm going to then find my R by taking 2 divided by 2 thirds um, and 6 divided by 2. In fact, this one's easier. So I'm just going to um, know straight away that R is 3. Okay, so I'm going to put that down over there. R is 3. All right, because I just check 6 over 2 equals 3. Um, if this was a question done in a random exam, you'd have to go and see whether it's arithmetic or geometric or quadratic. Um, but this example I'm doing is, is given that it's geometric, okay, because I'm telling you, not because I wrote it down. Okay, so that's R is 3. So I have all of those. What's left? N. Do I have N? I do, actually, because it's the sum to 12 terms, so I've got the 12 over there. Okay, so subbing into the formula, my A is 2 thirds. I then have 1 minus R, which is 3, to the N, which is 12, okay, over 1 minus 3. Right. So that gets me, just plug and play into calculator and pause before you check my answer out. I've got 1771466,6 recurring. Okay, can you get a weird sum like that? Yep, you can. This actually is a rational number because it's comma 6 recurring is that and two thirds, so it is rational. So you could get it out as a non decimal number if you needed to. And I'm going to use it in example two. Example two, we're going to find n when you have a, r, and you're given the s n. So it's the same example. Okay, I'm just shifting it backwards. So I'm saying how many terms of this sequence, of this series, sorry, will sum to that amount. Okay, so I'm going to plug that in. And I'm going to say, okay, here's my formula. I'm going to take this here. Um, 146. I think I'm actually going to write it as and two thirds because that'll help my calculator do exactly the right thing. Um, equals my first term, which I've got. Two thirds. 1 minus r is 3, so it's 3 to the n. Okay, this is perhaps going to be a bit tricky to solve because it's exponential stuff. Um, over the 1 minus 3. Okay, so now I need to solve for n. I know it's going to come to 12, okay? I know that because we just did it. But the point is to, to get to that point and be comfortable with the algebra along the way. Okay, so... I'm going to first, that's obviously negative 2, okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to multiply negative 2 by that um, and start on that step. I want to remind you at this point that um, you need to use the fraction button that gives you a mixed number, okay, to plug that in. If you plug in the number and then you plug in the fraction next, it, it'll actually look the same on the display, but it would be incorrect. You must use the mixed number button multiplying by negative 2 and I'm just going to keep this in fraction form here I get negative 106 2 8 8 0 over 3 and that now equals this thing my two thirds I haven't multiplied in yet I'm not going to do that just yet okay because actually I want n by itself n is in that little awkward exponent so I'm going to now divide this number by my two thirds and of course, it gives me a nice number I can work with because um, I've got 
both of them have the fraction here. So the minute I divide by that, I'm essentially tipping and timesing, and these threes would then cancel if I was doing it without a calculator. So what I get is, I get negative 5, 3, 1, 4, 4, 0, and that gives me 1 minus 3 to the n. Okay, now it looks like something that's a bit doable. Not quite dealing with exponential equation yet, but we will get there. Obviously, what I've got to do next is subtract the 1 on that side. Okay, if you're worrying about the negatives, then just trust the process, because when I, multi when I subtract the 1 there, it's still negative. And then here is negative, so my negatives will end up cancelling. Into the smaller board, because I'm running out of space, that's what I end up with. Okay, once I've subtracted the 1. And obviously, then I can just get rid of the negatives. So I'm just going really slowly through this process, so that you don't get lost along the way. Do you remember what to do with these? You had to punch that into the calculator, press equals, go to your shift button and go to factorize and get this thing in a factorized format. Will it come out as 3 to the something? Yes, it will. See 3 to the 12. And that is 3 to the n. That really wasn't so bad, hey? But knowing what to do and not getting too upset by the fact that exponential equations and those skills come into this stuff, that's a really key soft skill that you need for being able to deal with these guys.